Growing your own food is like printing your own money. I am Chetna and this is Get My Harvest. I have to thank you all for helping me and supporting me in this journey of teaching you all to grow your own food and leading a sustainable life. This video is for all you busy people. People like me, juggling between work, household chores, bringing up kids, having multiple projects to manage. Well, I'm going to cook a super quick and easy meal and the meal is going to taste even better because I'm going to use all the ingredients that have been growing in my own vegetable patch. I also want to share something with you. I've done a video on immunity boosting vegetables and in this video, I'm going to use those vegetables to make a stir fry. So let's get started. In the video on immunity boosting vegetables, I had covered five vegetables. Broccoli, I'm using this today. Red bell peppers, you can see it here. Peas. And two more things, garlic as well as spinach or palak. Those two will be harvested by Vihan during the video. So you'll see him harvesting those uh, from the vegetable patch. Everything is from the garden, but then the red bell pepper is not in season. So I sourced it. I'm going to share a link of that immunity boosting vegetable um, video in the description of this video. So for now, when it comes to ingredients, we'll need finely chopped garlic, finely chopped um, onion, around one fourth of an onion, finely chopped ginger, some cottage cheese, rock salt as per your taste, some soy sauce and some um, garlic stir fry sauce. You could substitute this with a ketchup or if you want to skip using this, that's also up to you. Okay, so let's begin. Just take a grill pan. It's alright if you don't have one. I just use this um, uh, for making grill marks on my cottage cheese and I've added a little bit of oil just to grease the pan a, a little bit and um, I've, keep, I've kept the heat on high because I want um, the grill marks to be really nice yes it is it is doing that so that means um, the pan is hot enough and, um, why don't you go harvest some spinach and garlic greens for us? Oh yes, Mama. In the meantime, Vihan is going to do that. Let's check um, if our uh, cottage cheese has grill marks on it. Yes, it does have. You can press it a little bit. Look how good these cottage cheese strips look. While Vihan has been busy harvesting, these are ready. So I need to take them out. the starry skies Oh, come on, you're sitting there and spending time? No, I am cutting. Okay, please come now. Enough. Okay. Oh, you've got some very good garlic greens. Do you need more? No, I don't need more. Please come now. Okay. Now, let's change the pan. And I'm going to use the same oil that was left um, on the grilling pan. The grilling griddle and grilling of the cottage cheese is perfectly optional. You can skip that step. So if you're skipping that step, you begin um, your recipe from this point. And the harvest that Bihan got, we just gave it a good wash and then uh, pat dried it uh, with the help of paper towel. You can see that there are garlic greens here and uh, some freshly harvested spinach. This is a stir fry. Your pan needs to be really hot. 
and um, now you do not have to follow um, a lot of sequence when it comes to cooking this dish i usually add the finely chopped um, onions and then um, the finely chopped garlic ginger and then garlic and then give it all a quick stir and then toss in um, the broccoli and also the peas can you hear these sizzling sounds that's the fun of a stir fry oh mama it looks so pretty and it smells nice also i just want to eat it <laughs> yeah you'll get to eat this very soon when very soon okay Now it's the time to add some red color and good health to the stir fry some more good health so in with the red bell peppers and um give it a stir again when it comes to seasoning i like to season during the process of cooking and then taste in the end and see if i need some more so i'm going to add a little bit of salt because salt does get absorbed uh, by the vegetables during the cooking and it enhances the taste now let's add uh, the spinach that we had harvested just throw in the leaves this is baby spinach in case you have the bigger one then um you could chop it roughly also add um some soy sauce and some stir fry sauce and then give it all a mix You could now add the cheese um, strips that we had grilled, and um, add a little bit of the moisture as well by adding water. It will deglaze the pan. With all the nice um, stir fry juices, let me give this a little bit of a taste and see. I think I need a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit. Let's add the garlic greens or garlic scapes um, to our stir fry for that zing um, in the flavor. It's almost ready now. The final touch that I usually give is turn off the heat and then um, add some black pepper, freshly ground black pepper. Our stir fry is ready. Come on, taste and tell me. Okay. If you like it. Can I taste too? Oh, right. You have to tell first. Okay. <laughs> His mouth is so full he cannot talk. But I have to tell you, it's super tasty and super easy. and more than everything else it's healthy you can have this during your lunch time i started making it at 12 noon and i was done at 12:15 while we enjoy our lunch do let us know in the comment section below about your views on this recipe we would be really happy if you give this a try give us suggestions on how you would make a stir fry that's even quicker than this Thank you for taking out time for watching this video.